you know, mama said knock you off by a hook wheelchair. Yeah, that's that's the I I want to try it. I've been I've been preparing in my car in my shower. A good one. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't terrible. Hi, I'm Natalia Dyer and I'm getting up close with Cosmo. The best thing about playing Nancy is she does some pretty cool things like um, fighting monsters and I gotta say the worst thing is probably the shoes, her choice in shoes. Uh, it's never ideal for monster fighting. They're always like heels or like flats. They're just the most inconvenient. I just wanted to wear sneakers, you know, just, just more. Um, yeah, she, she doesn't have the best shoe selection. Ooh, that is a good question. I'd say, kind of think Gaten. He's really oddly smart and knowledgeable about a lot of things. Very precocious, very mature. Um, it's crazy. It's, it was all really wrapped up in the, you know, in um, the pandemic and, and quarantine. So there's a lot of that in there for sure. Um, but from set, I'd say a lot of night shoots. Those are always very memorable. Um, lots of cold night shoots being very cold. Uh, and playing games in the tent past time. Good ones, good, good, good memories from last season. <laughs> um, sure, yeah, well, sure. Mostly, mostly just because I'm cu I'm so curious where any of these characters would go after experiencing this, like what? Where, yeah, where do, where do you go from there? If you survive, I guess, you know, who knows? Um, I'd say the teens, we're all, we're all pretty close. Um, you know, we, we work together and then we also get to like hang out quite a bit outside of it, you know, same age group. Um, so yeah, that, that category, I think. Probably lip balm. I'm a big, I'm a big lip balm user, so. Oh man, I rotate a lot. Um, kind of just like the, the Burt's Bees, the pomegranate. <laughs> um, secret. Um, I think doing less usually, doing less than I think I should, uh, usually works out well. Oh, also, I haven't done this in a while, but raw potatoes on your eyes. Just kind of like wakes, just forget cucumbers, just raw potatoes. It really does something. So it's kind of a secret. You gotta try it. It really, it, it always shocks me a little bit. I mean, it could be placebo, but I think, I think it works. Um, I really try to forget them <laughs> afterwards. There was one time, there was one time that I went in and I mean, it's really silly of me, but like the character chewed gum and like was chewing gum in the scene. And I thought, oh, like I'll, <laughs> I'll chew gum. And then <laughs> as soon as the casting director noticed, she just like chewed me out. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was, I mean, it was it's, it's silly to do, but you know, you live and you learn. I mean, I, <laughs> it's just trying to get in it, but yeah, don't do that. You know what? I don't. But I do have one that I really, I really want to try out. Next time, next time we go to karaoke. You know, Mama said knock you off by a hook wheelchair. Yeah, that's that's the I I want to try it. I've been I've been preparing in my car in my shower. Well, <laughs> um, a good one. I to. No, um, it's, it's terrible. Um, I, you know what's funny is whenever I'm in England or like around British people, I tend to, I tend to code switch. I think um, that's that's probably the only place that I 
can really lean into that? Um, uh, wow, that's, that's tough. I do, I guess I have, um, I have like, like a small collection of crystals. Um, I don't like carry them with me or like meditate with them or anything, but I, but I do have a handful of them that were gifts. And something about that is really, I think it's, you know, it's, it's so simple and small and, and you know, but, but t I think takes a lot of like thought and heart. And so I value those a lot. I had a friend give me malachite, which is like a travel protection stone and I'm terrified of flying. So it was like a really, it's a really sweet thought. I don't know, I've got, I've got this question a few times, I think, and I just never, I don't know. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. I, I mean, it's not exactly that, but if they ever, <laughs> if they ever feel like doing a live action version of the movie Anastasia, um, I mean, I'd, I'd be interested in that. That's, you know, me and a lot of other people, I'm sure, but that was, that was a big movie in my life when I was a kid. Um, ooh, I've watched a lot of TV recently. I, you know, I haven't thought necessarily that role, but there are certain, like I've been watching, watching Miss Maisel, I've been watching, uh, I just binged uh, The Newsroom, and I'm a sucker for like witty, snappy dialogue. So something, you know, working in something like that, I think would be fun. To everyone? Yeah, the book Come As You Are, I think is a really important, informative book that I think everybody can benefit from. Um, I would say anybody who is sort of like unapologetically human, people who like, you know, can admit when they make mistakes or they fail and then they, you know, keep trying, um, you know, or just kind of you know, keep it, keep it real. Best advice. Um, don't overthink it because like 99% of the time I am definitely overthinking it so it's a good it's a good one to keep keep in mind thanks for watching